started, yeah. Yeah, started, mate. Hi. Go on, I forgot to check if it was tidy, my Obs. Yeah. Alright. I'm having a go at playing YouTube today. He's doing them YouTube bits. Play, I'm having a go. Right, we have got a lot of questions. Are you going back to Ibiza this year? Does a bear shit in the woods? It, it does. I think they usually do, but sometimes they don't. Um, they don't populate areas, wooded areas. Sometimes, like say, it, on the Arctic tundra, you'd get a polar bear. And right, it's quite, quite um, scant of vegetation, so they they usually don't. But generally, bears, most bears. I am going with that. Yeah, I'm probably going to go to Ibiza, man. Yeah, yeah. So I think what Joe's trying to say is, is yes, he's going to he's going to go. You saying about that? Good ass, that who's that? The Scottish. You mentioned not me. She's probably going to watch this. Advice for first dates. <laughs> right. If you're calling it a date you've already fucking lost, you should not meet that girl, man. If she thinks she's going on a date with you and she's calling it a date as well, you're fucking lost. Right. Call it a joint adventure. You want to, and you want to get it as as impromptu as you can, really, or, or make it seem that way to her. So it's like a kind of accent, like, "Oi, I'm doing this later. Maybe you can come along." I don't know. Everything's off the bat, man. Yeah. Everything is spontaneous of course but, but only if you have it in you to do that because it yeah, like, yeah definitely. when i used to be on the scene in in liverpool <laughs> on, on the scene joe birds on what like, scene there was a bird to be like uh oh, so what are we doing i'd be like i don't know what we're doing meet me here at this time exactly and then i'm gonna make a fucking plan and it's gonna be sick and yeah. whatever i decide we do is gonna be fucking great so yeah. if you want we can go to the library and the art section and read yeah. about pre-raphaelite yeah. Impression it or whatever the fuck yeah, it, yeah. and it'll be sick. Plan. Exactly. You can have but, a plan, but, but don't that one work tell everyone with it. One. No, no. You can have now if that's not you, if you can't if you can't make anything work, you know, then you can have a plan, but you can you can front like you've not got one. You can say, Oh well, fucking well I'm just gonna free you know Also all it. what I do is warm the fuck up, man, because like, your mood oh, like do you know what yeah. I mean? It don't don't sit there for two hours. Don't start getting ready. Yeah. Like Ironing two hours early. Shirt. And yeah, yeah, I know. And then don't just sit shit. there waiting for the date. Do something good the day with like earlier that day or whatever. Something yeah, social. Yeah, yeah. Just be about yeah. get you know, watch some funny shit on YouTube. Prime you know, example. Be in a good fucking mood. Man. All right. Prime example. A couple of years ago, I did uh, a best man speech, my mate's wedding, and I wrote out the script. But on the day, I didn't fucking look at it. I just knew that if I got round everybody on the day and had loads of fun throughout the day and got familiar with people, you know, cracking loads of jokes, all that stuff, got in a good social flow, I would, I would fucking nail it, and I did. And it was because I got around everyone and did that rather than fucking rehearse it like a robot. When you started making videos, did you receive a lot of negative attention? Not really. You get the odd thing, man. But no, I was like. I understand that I can come off as a tit, man. Like that's just that's just something that I understand about myself. I I can come off, you know, not great at times. Especially if you just take certain snippets of certain videos, take them out then, of context. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, easy, and you yeah. don't stick around for like the longer, the broader picture. Because half the time I'm taking a piss, and half the time I am in a bit of a boisterous, fucking playful mood, and I'm being a dick. And so I'm never. I don't take it personally because. Honestly, it's the same as how I used to look at it. If I'd be like, back in the day, I have to say that, back in the day, if I'd be like chatting to a girl or something, either if I'm out or like on like, my phone with Tinder or whatever, and she doesn't get it, I'd just be like, it's not it's not my flaw, it's just that we're not on the same wavelength, man. She yeah. just doesn't get it and she doesn't value what no, I value. Yeah. And, and so that's not, it's not, doesn't mean that I should dislike that person if they don't like me. Yeah, yeah. It's just that they're not in a position yet to receive it. People aren't always on the same, yeah. you know. I'm not saying I'm necessarily more yeah. above or advanced yeah, yeah, in any yeah, way, yeah. Or, you yeah. know. Like, yeah. But just on different yeah. wavelengths. Well. Birds? I, I actually Shoot think... when you have to choose. I it? think they go amazing together. They do go well together. On a, on a balcony in a European city. Mm. So, if you can get one, if you can get a, if you can get a bird, you can always get a coffee. If you can get a bird, 
go somewhere and, and have one with her. Can I always get a bird, mate? I can't. Need to watch your Tinder video one. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll watch your Tinder video and use it and like actually apply the um, the method. You should not just to show that it works. Exactly. Mm. Best adventure you've ever been on. Oh, fuck me. Ah, uh, don't know. They're all great, man. You can't categorize best because I mean, obviously some are, some some are better than others, but there's no set best because everything is just different mm. and. Unless two things are exactly the same, i.e. fucking laboratory conditions, controlled yeah. shit, yeah, yeah. then it's never comparable on the, on the same yeah. level, yeah. man. Apple Shit's models. just different. And if you look at things as better or worse, that's how you get into like, you're on a sick holiday, that was sick, and then the next one, oh, it's got to live up to that one. It's yeah, got to yeah. be as good as it. Yeah. What if it's not? <laughs> what? You know, and then, and then that kind of better, worse thing, it's a one-dimensional view, man, and everything is just good because it's different. And if you try and emulate the same previous feels that you've had, you'll just get a shitter version. Mm. You can't do it because original variety is a spice of life, man. It's what keeps you alive, the fire. I enjoyed a, I enjoyed a trip to the Alps, actually. I really enjoyed that. It's probably my best adventure. I might put up a picture of you on in that high place with the snow and yeah 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 just yeah. flash it yeah yeah okay train rear delts on push or pull day pull how many times a week pull twice how much does your weight fluctuate on a weekly basis baby please don't know i don't weigh myself that often but it depends man if you cut in you want to look at it depends how lean you are you know if you're very lean then obviously you want to cut slower and so the higher body fat percentage you're at, the more you can get away with losing each week uh, without risking losing lean mass yep. slash gains. Yep. So you, your cut should gradually slow down towards the end of it. Yeah, but you can do a bit of an aggressive blast at the start. So, to begin with, depending yeah. on how lean you are, yeah, 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 yeah. But towards the end, you're looking at like 0.5 to 1 percent of your total body weight decrease each week so yeah. for example let's say i'm 180 pounds i'd look for 0.9 to 1.8 pounds and then obviously as i get leaner towards the bottom end of that scale more like a pound a week or less even if you could have three wishes right now what would they be anything oh fuck me i'd wish that i hadn't already had my morning coffee so i could have it again safely yeah, without, just, without going oh. just looking at mine and thinking like Sometimes you wish you could like just have it again. Three fucking wishes, Jesus Christ. That's a lot in it, man. Mate, that's just, like, my head would fall off if I even began to consider that. Yeah, yeah. I wish, for, I wish that they didn't fucking sell bananas that were still green. Look at my face, that fucks me off. Yeah, yeah, I wish, yeah, yeah. That'd be great. It's not great having to put a timetable on your fruit bowl, man. So you have to stagger them, mate. Stagger your bananas, yeah, yeah. right, again, different shades. Because either, like, you yeah, can't eat like any jewelry colour fucking Or suddenly skin. they're all fucking gone. Anyway, favorite bow, just chas chasu bow, chashu, chashu wang, chashu, or nam wang bow. But the, the the quality varies wildly. Yeah, it doesn't. A bow is not just a bow yeah, because you've got the size, and then there's the content. Some of them are a bit stingy with what's inside them, and the taste of what's inside yeah, as yeah. well. You got to fucking. You want a real upon tear. Yeah, you want to see a real reddish color. Yeah, you want a vibrancy. I think mm. not just brown. Are you afraid of ending up with Elder Bro's hairline? Yeah, <laughs> what's wrong with it, man? A bit, like... Nah. I don't think I will, but if, if I do, I don't think my... I don't know. It's just another mental fucking thing. I think you it, would man. be afraid initially, but you'd get around it, like... Yeah, yeah, you just... You just you know, if, man. If, if you've got, like, Ass. shit stuff about you, like, physically, you just have to compensate by body and force of character, force yeah. of personality. I being a sick guy. Yeah, and then to an extent that nobody fucking notices me. Mm. No birds ever pointed out to me, actually. Well, some of them do, but then I just slay them with some wise comment or something. Slay them? <laughs> yeah, slay them. <laughs> Favourite shops to buy edgy clothes? Um, mm. You want to go to like vintage shops, man? Mm, yeah. That's the best. That's the best bet, honestly, because Otherwise, you're just going to end up in all the same gear that everyone else has got. But, yeah. You know, 
If your jacket was made 20 years ago, it's unlikely many other people have got it, man. Yeah, luckily we're but, two minutes away from the fucking Moodville capital of the Northwest. Yeah, yeah. But so. then again, wearing something just because not many other people have, are wearing it is probably just as bad as wearing something just because everyone else is wearing it. Yeah, definitely. So it depends, you know, just wear what you fucking like. Man. Man, fuck Go it. shopping on your own. It's, it's so just, so not hard. listen to anyone else. It's so Don't hard look. to consider in it what you actually do like. Well, it's literally one of the greatest inner mental struggles yeah. of life. Yeah. Deciding what is you. And you, if there is any real if, you, yeah, yeah, an yeah. actual free yeah. will and stuff, or is it if you're all just a, just yeah, just like the consequence of your sort of environment and stuff and mm. how can you detach from can you fully detach from other people's opinions and if so why are you even bothering what's the point in shopping you just why, buy the closest why t-shirt you to an you opinion, yeah. buy the plain black t-shirt do you know what i mean so it's, it's just wild and it? it's just a it's just a massive kind of worms man yeah and maybe we'll open it up one day What's your opinion on Psalms? Fuck's that. I think Psalms are a drug, man. Sounds like a fucking dangerous drug as well. It doesn't sound like a virus. Sounds like. What's that? What's that about? SARS? It sounds like SARS. Sounds too close to SARS to put in my body to be honest. Yeah, not doing that. I don't want anything that's that's like very. I don't I think it's it's like a stead, man. I don't think it's categorized as a stead, but I think it's a performance enhancing drug. I don't know about what the category is and shit. I don't know. Yeah, sounds like a potent. Fuck knows what. Stead. It was done it. Sounds. Fucking. Should we investigate? Any fitness channels worth watching besides yourself, Lipset, and Yaros? No. Nah, man. <sighs> nah. Um, Glucose I'm Network, good. but it's not really fitness. Mind you, he's more fitness than I am, fitness technically, because he cycles and shit, but Glucose Network's a fucking belter, man. The video quality yeah. is insane. And it's just like, it's just a bit fucking different, man. It's just not same old shit. It's Maybe I'm guilty of being same old shit quite, sometimes, but that's why I like watching people who aren't. I like, it's quite like fly on the wall sometimes, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, well? production is fucking next level, mate. Serious. I like watching Ogre. Serious. Also, he's a fucking massive bow fan. So. For, the, for the training stuff. For online clients, how do you handle their food intake? Do you give them macros to follow or tell them specific foods? Most of the time, just macros. Some people like to have like, Sometimes I give people a few days to kind of diet plan example if it's mm. going to help them if they haven't yeah. tracked macros before. But even if I do, I say to them, listen, eventually I want you to get used to tracking macros as you go along because yeah. that life is unpredictable and yeah. I don't want you to be like, I can't follow my meal plan today. Oh, and have a little yeah, mental breakdown over it. It's a massive so, restrict, Like, I sometimes tell people, like, if you've got a consistent schedule and that in your own like kitchen and stuff like that, just bracket your day off with one or two meals that remain like similar or the same so you've got like a bit of structure and a bit of flexibility yeah, yeah. you've got like x amount of calories to fill how you want yeah yeah you know? so you could have like your breakfast set and that's a certain amount of macros same every day you just copy your meal on my fitness plan every day you can even have your last meal set and then do whatever you want in between yeah. or whatever all right what do you do when you're surrounded by only average and below average birds Surra- are you telling me that surrounded you, are you t- are you telling me that you don't have access to better quality birds? Yeah. Because unless you live in fucking like Siberia, like or, yeah, yeah, somewhere fucking. And there's probably birds there, man. A lot, of, but they just wrap up, man. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, but back to the, back to the, and you should wrap up. Back to the point. Uh, if you if you if you live somewhere and you're not seeing the high quality ones, you need to fucking look harder. Because if you live in a in a decent sized, you know city or something there's gonna be loads but if it's if you're just in like a sort of town like a medium-sized town you might have like the hometown fucking hotties and that but you, you, i think that nobody it, unless le- legit unless you're in a really sparsely populated area nobody has only average birds around them and to me that sounds like an excuse because i've been there man i've been there on night out and you you, you look around the yeah. clubs and you 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 like, you know, doing your little scouting, your little meerkat mission, like <laughs> checking for birds. And you go, oh, there's no birds, oh. No, oh, no, no one's not, tired, yeah, you know, you I'm not, not fit enough. And that's basically, that's your excuse. Or you say they're too fit. It's your, it's your bitch out excuse, man. It's yeah. like, oh, you know, because as if, if the hardest bird in the club walked up to you and was like, let's go home. As if you'd be like, nah, she's not my type. No, fuck that. She's not, she's not fit enough. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? 
Even if one that wasn't that fit did that and it was just on a plate, man, you most people would and would get involved. And like. you know what? If by some wild, unlucky phenomenon, you are only surrounded by average birds, practice on them. Yeah, exactly. Practice on them all. Get fucking comfortable, man. Yeah, I have to get comfortable with like because everyone needs you know right like, average ones, and I just just build momentum, man, for the better. <laughs> don't tell them That's that nice. you're just a momentum. Yeah, don't say, don't tell you're just them, a like, stepping stone. Right, yeah. Yo, how's it going? Listen, I'm really nervous about like chatting to like hot girls and that, so I thought I'd just warm up on you, see how yeah, that goes yeah, for yeah. a bit. Um, I usually tell if it goes well. It's I, really bomb. I actually usually tell girls anyway. I'm just like I get nervous talking to fit, talking to hot girls, man. I think that's why me and you get on really well. <laughs> you know, just by saying to all of them, just troll them. <laughs> that's the best way, you know. Yeah, yeah. Self-deprecating humor does wonders. Yeah, it's a, but but you can't go too self-deprecating, or they think maybe they start believing it and think exactly, maybe this guy has yeah, low yeah, confidence. Yeah, yeah. So, exactly. So you just flick between self-deprecating and horrific arrogance. Yeah. And they they kind of don't know which Where is best, place, but it yeah. shows a level of confidence that you can then be self-deprecating and be comfortable with it and not yeah. have to show off all the time. Yeah. That's the level of confidence in yeah. it, especially if you can do shit like take the piss out of your own insecurities and that. Yeah. Like you know. It's funny, like we were saying the other day about height, like he's 5'9", I'm 5'10". I've met girls before and the first thing you've said to me is, oh, I thought you'd be taller. And I'm like, yo! <laughs> you know what I mean? And if exactly you're gonna be a little, like, thing. you could you could be hurt, you could be butthurt about that, or you can make a joke out of it, you know, and you can say, you know, it's sweet because I've got us some swan pedalos booked out uh, on, on the canal, so. No one can really tell at all we are. And I'll just yeah, yeah. I've and got that. my heels on. I've got a booster seat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't fucking scare me. Shut up. You know, with loads of comebacks, man. Our crotchal regions will align. We're all the same we're height. On the horizontal line. No, no, that's loads, man. <laughs> on that note, who's better at pulling birds? Your mate. Uh, I think in terms of if if you were to like. Take us both out and, um, well, well, I reckon that I'd probably take longer to build momentum and get into the right, um, get into the right state slash sort of rhythm. Zone, yeah, 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 yeah. Whereas you, flow. it's more consistent. You've got it more often, haven't you? I think. Uh, well, I, I think, have a lot of like. Uh, well, I think you know, you've like had like. <laughs> I suppose, suppose last year and that you had a lot like you were with a bird for a while. Yeah. I've been more consistently reinforcing my own frame in my head that I am a sick guy, man. I tell myself yeah, that. Yeah. And so I'm constantly in, I forget a in lot, like man. I'm a sick guy mode. I which obviously to. you have to have some kind of humility in like you don't actually think that not in the sense that you think you're better than everyone else. No, no. But you've you realise real, worth. but you realise that your presence is value. Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah. and and I'm constantly in that state. I, I don't just say that, you know, oh, girls are lucky to fucking. Yeah, meet. I yeah, just, yeah. I think that I enrich their fucking experience of yeah, life yeah. on a fucking daily basis. Basis, yeah. Whereas like I, I lose that a bit and then regain it and. Yeah, yeah, and it's. But, but once it, I'm in it, it is all it's um, the ebb and flow. I feel like I'm. I can fucking. Yeah, yeah. Um, He's actually got through like. Probably double the birds I've got through, but you know, then then you start thinking, well, what are we gonna do? We're gonna yeah. start quantifying. Does, does this one count as two? Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what do you and Mike dislike or find annoying about each other? Oh fuck me! I think we'll. How long think, have we got? Here, well, man? I think we have. We have what was it we were talking about? It was, the, it was, a, it was a politeness and the, and the frankness. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Frank and as being polite. I'm more towards polite. He says overly polite. He's more towards being frank. I yeah, say yeah. overly frank. And so, I, like he'll say he'll he said to me the other day, "You love saying thanks eight times," you know, and I'm like, yeah, polite. yeah. Like it'll it's annoy polite, me like, if he's like yeah, overly yeah, yeah, polite to yeah, people. Yeah. Whereas whereas he'll say shit sometimes, and I'll think. Kind of a dick, man. Yeah, yeah. You know I, what I mean? <laughs> it's a kind of obnoxiousness. It's the, it's the kind of thing where, if I right say that, say there's like two lanes of traffic and there's roadwork, so they're condensing down to one lane, right? So if I'm waiting in this this lane and no one's going, no one's driving right up the lane with no cars in it mm. because it's rude to go right to the top and cut yeah, in, right? Yeah, yeah. If I see a guy go past me, I think, do you know what? Fucking fair one. You're getting about your fucking day. You're getting your shit done. 
fuck everyone else because everyone else could do that it, and technically yeah, yeah, everyone yeah. could be in both lanes and it'd all be the same yeah, speed yeah. you'd still yeah. get through at the same time yeah. and, then, and then i think fuck it well i'll go then let's do it do you know what i mean i don't feel any guilt for getting my own shit done yeah and i i, I feel like and because I, I don't think i'm rude to people or impolite or like yeah. truly like obnoxious and i, and I still like I know, but it but it is a it is a balance. It's yeah. probably a happy medium between. Yeah, you know, we could probably take something from each other, and yeah, and yeah. I do stop and think about it sometimes. If I'm in a situation, I think, or if if we're we're like together one day, I think it'll maybe sort of bring out the other bit in each other. In a sense, I think, nah, fuck this, I'm cutting in front of you, you know, something like that, you know. And yeah, yeah, you have yeah. to recognize when to be able to turn that on, and use it. You know, what I mean, it's about recognizing what's appropriate, isn't it? In yeah, any situation yeah. and not like I'm, I'm gonna stay in this box or I'm gonna stay in this box yeah yeah definitely so I suppose that annoys each other when we when yeah, we exhibit when we get too much of our yeah, caricature yeah, kind that, of kind that of isn't in the, yeah, yeah 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 a lot of these are bird it, how to have more birds than one and they still be happy birds I think he means about running a, running a portfolio and running everyone happy, happy man. You, it's about honesty from the start. What do you mean actual girlfriends, man? No, you can't have more than one girlfriend. That Listen, right, the old you've got a choice, man. A deeper connection with one girl or shallower, shallower more, more surface, but can still be just as Perf enriching yeah, yeah, yeah. and oh, just, as satis yeah, yeah. just as satisfying with a variety of girls. Now, I've always said that I'd always roll with a variety of girls if I need a variety to get all the kind of stimulation I can get with the various types, exactly. however, if I can get that from one girl, then I will do because yeah, that's just a better that's just a better scenario in my opinion. I um, think, but there's there's you know personally, if you want to run a portfolio, you just be honest from the start, man, and that doesn't mean like as soon as you meet your bird, go by the way, I'm getting through this fucking bird from yeah. you know, next door, like. You know anything like that, yeah. but you don't give people false hopes. You, you, you know, and really, you want to be the fun guy and make them buy into into every interaction is a is a one off deal and it's a good deal. So if they're gonna come and hang out with you, it's not on the promise that you're gradually moving towards this stage yeah, you're not, where you're, you're not dangling something, but you're not dangling you know, something like that. It's yeah. not a progression. You have to make every time you meet them as Low good, pressure. stimulating, satisfying for them as possible so that as a one-off deal, it's always a good deal. So even if you never saw them again, even if you said, oh, this is the last time I'm going to see you, but do you want to come and hang out? They'd still they come and hang out. They would it for what it is. Because it's not yeah. about the progression and it's a fucking microcosm. It's an it's a analogy for life in it. It's not about the progression. It's about... It's about being here now, making now fucking great, man. And yeah. then, and then, if you can make her value the now, the time that you have together, then she won't be in that same mindset as a as a typical girl who is just trying to lock you down and get you to go out on a fucking timeshare with mm -hmm. her mm -hmm. and and she won't care she won't even ask about other girls and no. she, she won't because she still gets you know a good fucking deal she, exactly if you still make her deal life regardless better, man, of the other ones better. you know but uh, um from so, from one girl i think there's only so much you can get and you've got to pick which qualities you want because one girl might have this this and this but you also might value this, this, and this, and it's not, and, and they're just not there in that person. I think there's only so much one person can contain, mm, really. Maybe you know, like the like the girl that that would be your best, you know, partner for longevity, may not necessarily be the one that excites you the most, and vice versa. I don't know. It's but they they those two can be together, but there's other things that maybe won't be there as well. Yeah. yeah. So, what's the biggest satisfaction you receive from being involved in the fitness industry? Is it personal gains or is it the impact you have on the wider community, i.e. your subscribers and clients? Um, it's hard to say, man. I, I just get satisfaction from sharing feels, man. And honestly, like, cl clients making progress is one thing. And like, I like just the broader community, man. I like, I like reading comments on YouTube and feeling like people get it. I just... I like the feeling of being understood because I feel I feel like that's just a natural 
human urge and it's probably impossible to do fully yeah it, language is not a good enough tool to accurately convey the feels but but i do get that sense that there are a lot of people who watch my shit who are just on my level man yeah, because yeah. and and that's why th that's the great thing about youtube and stuff people only come back and watch when they want to and they understand and they get it and it makes it so much easier to find and connect with people that are on the same wavelength as you because if you're just gonna do it through your social circle it's it's hard to get the same kind of numbers of the people who are on that kind of level man do you know what i mean so i don't know i think it's the feel it's just the yeah that thoughts on bro science and steve cook is bro science a thing is that an actual tube channel what, or person what, what even is don't know bro science now steve cook's fucking i like steve cook man he's just He's just a nice, he's the ultimate nice lad, isn't he? He's like yeah. turbo nice, man. Yeah, he's yeah. like, if you took him home to your parents, like, yeah. honestly, they'd be happy with you, wouldn't they? I would, <laughs> if I met a bird, I would, I would pay him to go to her house. What, and get through it? No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't allow that, bro. Or maybe a word, though. Send me the tape. Who cares, this is from Yaros' sister, who cares more about women, in brackets, treats them better? Out of who? Us two. Oh, out of us two. Uh, I think we both care an equal amount, but we just, we just, we just apply that care in different ways. Maybe treats them better. How do you mean by like treats them better? Well, how can you really measure who who treats? You mean them who's more? who's like more honest because about their intentions? What's, and shit what's what? better? Because nicer isn't always better. Well, if you ask a woman how she wants to be treated, she's gonna tell you some shit that she doesn't fucking want you to do. Yeah. So if we took like, our, if we, if, if you do what a girl thinks she wants, she will fucking bin you off, mate. I'll tell you what. Big time. What, what constitutes treating a girl well, right? It's not fucking holding doors. It's not paying for shit. It's not fucking it's not treating her like a baby. It, it's, it's being decisive, which gives them the gift of time because they don't have to decide you know it release it. they don't have to decide be indecisive being honest yeah which is creates more of a genuine authentic Trust. connection yeah. and therefore a deeper level of understanding between you and having and having an attunement to her fucking reality like you know that as a girl they're getting just fucking dicks are coming at them Every every day, mate. Like left, right, center. Not even good ones either. Shit ones. And you acknowledge that. Give them a good experience, and you'll stand out. Mm. Be. What did I say? Decisive. Decisive. Honest. honest. Just l just, just let give them, value. Yeah, just yeah. Give value. Exactly. And don't try yeah. and take from them. That's treating them well. You need to, because Don't that's real, like it's a game that's, that's real generosity, isn't it? Being, pr being, when you're with them, being there, man, actually being present, because giving somebody your time, and real attention, exactly, Looking genuine right attention, and, and that, that doesn't, that doesn't mean like, oh baby, you're okay, do you need a drink? Do you want a glass of water? That's you you know, shit, you allow shit. them, you know, girls need to also be allowed to have, maintain some kind of independence because you, you don't want to baby someone through mm. you know you be decisive at times when you feel like she doesn't want to make the decision you know and she'd appreciate because you don't split hairs over which restaurant to eat at or yeah. whether you're going to do this now and that later or whatever yeah. Yeah. you just decide because she doesn't she doesn't matter the final detail she doesn't matter she doesn't care the final details don't matter yeah, yeah. um she's in it you know for the for the journey isn't she the experience of being with you mm. And so if she feels like you're you're this you're trying to get to a point like a fucking like a taker like take stuff from it, she's just gonna be like the fuck's this um, weird shit. So like, yeah, that's the last one. That that's just, just be there, man. Be be present yeah. and because then, then, you know, a a girl would would appreciate much more spending two hours with you of quality fucking time. Yeah, rather than. You know, a full day of you just being on your fucking phone and being like, oh, what, what, babe, you know what I mean? What, or, or just doing shit like just what, just sit, just go to 
your go-to activity just being watching a film or something where you're not fucking there, man. Because like I was saying before, you don't have to do sick shit. Anything can be made sick if you're there and you're exactly, fully yeah. fucking present to it. You can you can go to the library, man. You can do mm. st- you can do boring you shit, make anything make it good. Because yeah, it's it not good. about where you are. You know, it's about sh- being what you share it, it. Share it together, man. Yeah, yeah. Best way to go about getting sponsorship. It's all about numbers, man. So you need a followers and b a good connection with those followers yeah. because it's about your exposure and then your conversion into sales. Nobody's yeah, yeah. gonna sponsor you. If you go up to a company and you're like, yo, I really love your shit, it's my dream to, no one gives a fuck about what your dream is or what your ambitions are. Not in business anyway, Just people can wanna you know make them money. You, can you make sales for them? So what are you gonna bring to the table? Which means you need a following and you need them to be, you know, involved with you and, and bought into you so that you know, that can, so there can be some kind of conversion into cold, hard motherfucking cash. Mm. You know, because that's what makes the fucking world go around. Like, you know, I fucking, I'm not asked about the plug-in shit, man. Like, buy this, right? Okay, clothing, discount code, not asked. Because some people will be, aff- some people will be offended about a sales pitch, right? But the people that don't get it, none of this will be possible without the odd fucking sales pitch. As long as you're not selling stupid shit and just losing integrity, as long as you stick to, you know, be somewhat selective with the products that you push, you know, then it's fine, everyone's gonna get it, no one's gonna be offended by a sales pitch, and if they are, they're not on your fucking wavelength anyway, man. You know what I mean? If I, if I, if I spend 10 seconds in a video promoting something, and I'm getting paid to do it, or profiting off sales or whatever, you know, if someone gets pissed off by that, fucking they're welcome to be pissed off, man. Because none of it, nothing will be possible. Yeah, I think that's I think that's a small fucking price to pay, mate. Yeah, yeah. You know, and so you have to be fucking. Yeah, I don't know. I went off on a tangent. I go off on a lot of tangents, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Any funny, crazy traveling stories you haven't heard? So my funny slash craziest one was the one where I nearly got scammed out of like about six grand in Cambodia. But I have, I have talked about it in a Q and A before. Mm. If there's enough new subs, that's the video's gonna go up 5k views, so if there's no, enough new subs wanna hear that story, I'll do it in a story time. It, it was a rough one, man, it was a funny one, though. Mm. We, had, we, we had some funny stories when we went to Australia. Both of us. Oh shit, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Mate, you should watch the Delbros Southeast Asian Adventure yeah, video, yeah, yeah. it's on Delbros channel. But like, there's some funny <laughs> shit, man. <laughs> Uh, we balance, mate. <sighs> Have a friend who's still a virgin and is turning 22 tomorrow. He's reluctant to get it over with a bird who's not great. A, four, a modest 4 out of 10. But there's not much else on the cards. You think he should just lay pipe and get, o- get it over with? Uh, why, why, like, if you want to do it and you're viewing it as something that's like, get it out of the way. Why? Why you? Why have you only got one option? Like, and and it's a four as well. He's a twenty-two-year-old virgin, mate. He's obviously not. Yeah, but you're on his on his game, is he? Mate, that would slay if you went out and told birds that you're a virgin. You have a bit of charm about you, and that obviously be, don't be shit. Like, you got a bit of charisma and stuff. Be funny, and you fucking slip that in there. I've never had sex with someone. You know, girls that would just think. Hmm. I'm not. If I, if it was I me, if it was me, I'd I'd do it, man. Because I'm not the kind of guy to think, oh shit, I regret that. Do you know what I mean? It's all just it's all just life, man. Yeah, if don't you, and if treat you, it like it's something precious not, that you have to like save for something. You're not gonna get regret getting through a bird that you weren't that fond of, as long as you don't a get a disease off it or b get kids. get a kid off it. Yeah. Like just wrap up and get <laughs> that would be bad luck. Wrap here. up and <laughs> get in the fucking trenches, <laughs> man. Straight away. Get in the trenches. When did you stop and realise that you'd actually made it? Um, literally, so basically I haven't got much memory left, I'm going to do this real quick, but I'm going to finish up with this one. I've had various moments in my life when I felt, you know what, I have fucking made it. The most notable one recently, I was in my bathroom and I was adding up my fucking incomings and in, income and outgoings and shit, and like just working out like I've got enough money to do this, I've got, and I think, you know what, I can probably go on holiday in February, yeah, yeah, that's, that's sound like, and, you know, I've got enough to, like, cover me bills for a couple of months, that's fucking sound, yeah, and I thought, you know what, 
that's all you need, man. Anything more is just the finer details. You know, you just get it from A to B in a shiny fucking car. You're just wearing a more expensive watch. You know, the important things are here. I live in an apartment that I like in a city that's fucking great, surrounded by people that, you know, make my life better. And hopefully that's a synergistic two-way relationship and I make their life better and have a good social circle. And what the fuck else matters, man? You're basically here, and when you admit that and take away the, the, the circumstances, when, when, when you relinquish, you know, you, the the need for different circumstances to have made it, then all of a sudden, the responsibility is on you, right? And now, if you say, right, I am pretty much in as good circumstances as I'll possibly get. Ever. Now, the only thing that can ever change is how much you personally get out of life and you are the only variable now. And so the, res the responsibility is on you. So then, you know, that is a lot of responsibility, but it's good and it's a, it's a fucking great kind of liberating feeling because now it's just down to me to get the most out of everything. Maybe I just want to try and enjoy tomorrow more than I enjoy mm -hmm. today. And that's a fucking blank canvas and as good yeah, conditions yeah. as you're going to get. It's your perspective as well. Yeah. Now, man. Now. Made it. Now. Yeah, yeah. Do you think anything? Do you agree or just think? Yeah, no, I, I agree. Like, when you think it's going to be in the future, yeah. you actually get there. Because there's times when you think, oh, I'll be sick when I get this, and then you get it. And then it's just, oh, I'm just kind of here. You just got to take the responsibility here. now, haven't you? Take the responsibility now, man. Mm. It's as good as it's ever going to get. And so the only thing that's going to change is what you get out of it. Yeah. So you literally make a choice to bring your best, bring most more. optimistic, most open-minded self to all these situations. These are the circumstances, so you bring it. more to them now. Yeah. Bring more to the situation. Don't try and get certain situations because they're just details. Bring, don't get. Jordan Lenny is my hero.